Twitch.tv is an incredibly popular website for internet personalities to entertain their audiences live. But sometimes they don't exactly play by the rules, and this can oftentimes lead to trouble. Welcome to Trending 10, and today we're going to be covering the top 5 Twitch streamers who got themselves banned. Number 5. Brittany Venti Brittany Venti is a female streamer known for her somewhat obnoxious persona and tons and tons of cleavage. Now, you may think you already know why she got banned, but it's actually not what you're expecting. Her channel was temporarily banned after she showed herself playing GTA 5 in a scene where her character went to a strip club and got a lap dance, which Twitch deemed as pornography. Then, after she got her channel back from this ban, Britney was then raided by 4chan and during a stream got a string of donations containing offensive messages along with them that were read out by the text-to-speech system she had implemented. Which caused her to get into even more trouble, which Brittany argued was not her fault since the donations were out of her control. But this doesn't take away from the fact that while this raid was happening, she was actually trying to find a sugar daddy on stream and asking viewers how big their dicks were. Well, whatever the actual reason behind the ban is, it's very unlikely that Brittany Venti will be back. Cox. Cox, 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 now, this League of Legends player has quite the history with Twitch bans, and his final strike was actually his third instance of harassment on stream. His first involving reading out other people's email addresses on stream, and his second being for starting drama with another streamer, Rainbow Kids. But his third strike is quite the story. Grossgore and a fellow League of Legends player met two girls online and paid for them both to come out to a major League of Legends event, a very expensive trip, which was basically done so that he and his friends could get into the girls' pants. Well, it didn't really go their way, as not only did he not get laid, but the girls they flew out ended up hooking up with some other players. This infuriated Grossgore, and he accused the players of brainwashing the girls and stealing them from him and his friend all of which he said on a live stream. Needless to say, this was the last straw for Twitch, and his channel was hit with one final ban. False, okay? I lied. It's over. I fucked up, okay? I didn't think twice. I was angry and upset. It was in the heat of the moment, and I fucked up. I was under the influence of others, and I was... I fucked up because I listened to other people, and I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a goddamn fucking idiot, okay? So if you ever see somebody out there saying that he's a pedophile, or they, it's funny, or the poke fun, or make memes off, tell them to stop, because it's not funny, and it's seriously, it's serious consequences. It cost me my fucking life. The thing that I enjoy doing for the rest of my life, life it cost me my life. My life is over. Number 3. Rice Gum Most people may know Rice Gum from his recent diss tracks on YouTube, but he actually started off as a Twitch streamer. He was once banned for viewbotting, but was eventually unbanned, but not for too long. During an Overwatch stream, Ricegum decided to start waving around a revolver that looked very real. Unfortunately, Twitch was not a fan of this, as showing off a lethal or harmful weapon is a zero-tolerance violation, and Ricegum was quickly banned from the platform. It was later revealed that the gun he showed off was not actually a real gun, but a BB gun that wasn't even that expensive, valued only around $70. And this did stir up controversy as to whether or not Ricegum should have been banned over it. But regardless of Twitch's opinions on the matter, it's unlikely that Rice Gum will be coming back to Twitch anytime soon. Yo, you guys want me to play a Russian a roulette? I got the burner on me, boys. Say, say it's high noon. It's high noon. It's high noon. It's high noon. No, guys, it's, it's a BB gun. I swear to God. Why would I have a real gun in my house? Number two. Zoe Berger. Ah yes, we all know Zoe Berger. While she has since been unbanned and made multiple new accounts and is still doing her thing, Zoe Berger has been banned plenty of times on Twitch and on YouTube for showing a little bit too much skin. Zoe Berger is a streamer who specializes in wearing very revealing outfits while gaming and is known for her willingness to get sexy to celebrate a victory. After being banned on Twitch, 
Her channel was reinstated after it was set to be for mature audiences only. And after a while, Zoe moved over to YouTube Gaming for her streams, where she streamed for a little while before getting banned once again. But this didn't stop her, as she just made another account and now has over 1.1 million subscribers, and is promising to create a team of sexy e-girls for regular boob streams. And we're not kidding with that title. Terms and conditions won't stop this girl. Just about three hours ago, I received an email from Twitch notifying me that I had been banned for the fourth time. So, as you can see here, I was banned on the 25th of August under an other terms of service violation. I appealed this ban, and this was the third ban, by writing this. Let that sink in. Okay. Big ass titties, I got, I got a lot of cleavage. I accept that my first, second, and third bans were legitimate. That's fine with me. And finally, in our number one spot, Tretzy TV. Finishing up our list is the recent banning of Tretzy TV. While streaming himself playing and having a few drinks, or maybe more than a few, Tretzy was playing with YouTube Abel when he had to pee. While in his intoxicated state, he figured it would be funny to let his friend hear him peeing on mic. So rather than go to the bathroom and let loose, Tretzy decided to put his mic up to an empty beer can while he peed in that. Unfortunately, he forgot that he was streaming every single second of this. A couple of days later, he received an email letting him know that he had been banned from the site and also got somewhat roasted by one of the Twitch supervisors. So remember, if you're going to pee into an empty beer can, make sure that you're not streaming while you're doing so. We, we, we were sitting there and we're just like, you know, playing games and stuff, and I'm like, dude, I gotta go piss. He's like, all right. So I put my headset down and then I like go to walk away and I was like, dude, do you know what would be funny right now? You know what would be super fucking funny? If I peed and he could hear but it. But before this, I had forgotten that I had started up my stream while I was drunk. And here okay? I am whipping out the fucking yogurt slinger. Like literally, like I just fucking flop my fucking flaccid ass dick out on the brim of this fucking cold fucking gross beer still in the fucking lid beer can. But all right, guys, that's it for our list of the top five Twitch streamers who got themselves banned in ridiculous ways. Know of any more? Be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe for more great content. But all right, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thanks so much for watching Trending 10, your guide to what's viral right now.